hello everyone welcome to our channel so today i am going to talk about an exciting topic for all you presenters out there so if you would want to take your presentations to another level and impress your audience then this video is for you i'll be sharing some fantastic design tips specifically for google slides so stay here and watch through to the end let's dive right in so the first step to design a very good presentation slide right is to choose your right thing and make sure that you are having a complementing color palette so you can see that in this design i choose a darker gray and white and that is what i will be using throughout my presentation so if you are the multicolored type make sure you are choosing a palette that complements your your theme or the topic that you are coming to talk about if you need help choosing a theme you can also look at google slides default templates that they have but if you would want to stand out i recommend that you create your own theme from the scratch to you know have that unique look and also be consistent right be consistent with your flow of slides so you have to maintain a consistent font style font size and then text alignment you know it's it creates a kind of um professional look and then keeps your audience focused on the content as well and also remember to keep it simple right avoid putting in too much text to clutter your presentations maintain a clean layout and then use bullet point instead of putting like a whole statement that segments them into bullet points to enhance your your message and if you have to use images then use quality images use high resolution images you can check on google slide stock images or you can even check pexels.com or on splash so the image i have on this slide was taken from pexels.com right so that is one thing about it and also yes add some flair to your presentation don't create a boring presentation so add some smooth transitions but be conscious with what you do all right be conscious and take caution so be conscious and cautious whilst using these transitions because too much of flashy effects can be distracting to your audience so you might consider using them sparingly and then staying consistent with it so you don't have to choose um, different styles of transition or effect just one transition one type of transition will be okay so we might as well use the dissolve or their fade effect to i mean balance it in your in your presentation and i mean if you are presenting data presenting data can be raw at times so remember or be sure to use charts and graphs that best describes your data and also be sure to you know label your your charts okay and any annotations that you need to give to your charts or to describe your data very well but also remember again to avoid too much text so don't clutter your your graphs or your charts as well right and this is an interesting stuff that everybody should know or this is the icing on the on the cake right use master a master slide and presentation notes or presenter notes this will help you stay on course so i have presenter notes that i am also reading from so that i stay on course and i don't veer off and i make sure that i maintain consistency and presenting so i'll go off on the slideshow mode and i show you my presentation notes so you can see that these this is my presentation notes at the bottom here so you can as well have so these are footnotes so on every slide you have the opportunity to insert 
your footnote or your presenter notes at the bottom here right so for you to see your presenter notes on the, the slideshow mode on google slide you don't just click on it you click on this drop down and then you go to a presenter view or you can it might it might as well use Control shift plus f5 and it will open the presenter mode so let's look at the presenter mode how it looks like so this is how the presenter mode looks like you are even privy to other tools that you can also use so there is audience tools that you can use to start a q a right so you can see that there is it has generated a link for audience to click on when you look at here audience to click on this to send in their questions so their questions when an audience click on the link and then type in a question the question will appear here for you to be able to answer the audience question you can also go back to your speaker notes and then you read from the footnotes that you have you are also you also have the opportunity to see your previous slide so this is the last slide that i have and this is the previous slide so if i go to the previous slide i'm able to see my previous slide and then the next slide so that i'll be able to plan my thoughts before i even enter the next slide so that is what i was actually using to do this presentation so that is just about it so i can also turn off the questions and then i have my slides here so there you have it the design tips to elevate your presentations using google slides remember choose a custom theme keep it simple use high quality images present data effectively by using charts or graphs add smooth or subtle transitions and animations and make use of master slide and presenter notes by following these tips you will captivate your audience, deliver a powerful message, and leave a lasting impression on your audience. If you found this thing very helpful, kindly give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Thanks for watching and happy presenting.